Hello everybody and welcome back to this video. Today I'll be showing you how to group data you get from the database using SQL Alchemy. Let's get started. So to group data in SQL Alchemy, we can use the group by method of the query object. We'll go ahead and start with an example. We'll have a user's variable here and we'll set it equal to session.query. Then we will add a dot group by method with open and close parentheses. And inside here, one of the things we can pass is the column that we want to group. So we can do something like users.age. So we can group all of the users by their age. Then we can do dot all at the end. And so if we go ahead and just print our users, we can see it is printing our user objects. It's just giving us just one of these user objects. We can actually go to the query here and specify dot age. So we can just get the age value from it. So if we go ahead and run it again, now you can see it shows all the different ages that are in the database. This is a good way to find unique values in your columns. And the SQL equivalent of this is select age from users group by age. And since we do have it this way, these are tuples being returned. And that's cool. Well, we can actually do something more advanced with this by also getting how many users are in that specific age group. So we're going to need some help with that. From SQL Alchemy, we're going to import the function variable. And right after here to our users.age, we're going to add func.count user ID. Funk does have a lot of different uses and we'll get to that in a later video. But specifically here, we will just use the count method from it to count the number of users in each age group. So whenever we go ahead and run this, we can see that, okay, for 20 year olds, there's three of them. There's one 21 year old, three 22s and so on. We change both of the ages to name and we go ahead and run this again. We'll go ahead and get the unique usernames and see how many of our users have the exact same name. And for all the methods that we've talked about, we can actually chain them together. So we can do something like this, where we have a user's object and we set it equal to session.query user. And we filter it first by anyone over the age of 24. Then we filter it again with everyone under the age of 50. And even though you split it up like this, it will treat it just the same as just putting a comma in between. We can also combine filtering, ordering, and grouping all together. And we can do that here by bringing back our from SQL Alchemy import func, because we'll go ahead and use it in this query. And we'll say users tuple is going to equal to session.query, and we'll take our user age and func.count of our user ID, so we can count all of the users in a specific age group. We'll go and filter with everyone over the age of 24. We will order it by age, filter it again with everyone under the age of 50 and then group it by the age, and then get all of the data from the query. So we go ahead and loop through our results by saying for age count in just tuple, because we are just getting a user's age and the count of users in that age group returned as a tuple. We can go ahead and print out the age and the amount of users in that age group. So whenever we go ahead and run it, we do see that for each of these age groups that meet our criteria, it does show the respective number of users in each group. And the SQL equivalent of this is select age count ID from users where age is greater than 24 and age is less than 50, group by age, order by age. Another cool thing is you don't need to call the del all method right away. You can call it sometime later in your code so you can apply more filters, ordering, and groupings conditionally. Here's an example. So we'll have two Boolean values. One is only Iron Man, which we'll use to only find users with the name Iron Man. And we'll have another one group by age so we can conditionally group by the user age. So we'll go ahead and set users equals to session.query of our user. Then we can do if only Iron Man. Then we can set our users equal to users.filter of username is equal to Iron Man. Then we can also specify if group by age. And then we can say users equals users.group by our user age. And then we say users equals users.all to finally execute the query. And then we'll go ahead and loop through our users by saying for user and users, and we'll print out the user's age and their name. So whenever we go ahead and run it, we can see that all of the names are Iron Man since we did filter that and we are grouping them by age. So if there's more than one Iron Man in a certain age, then it won't repeat them again. And the SQL equivalent here is select star from users where name equals Iron Man group by age. We can then come up here to only Iron Man and change this to false. And whenever we go ahead and run it, we can see that we do now get all of the ages not restricted to the name of Iron Man. But that's not to say there isn't anyone in these age groups that are named Iron Man. As we can tell with the previous results, there are people in those age groups named Iron Man. 
Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one.